Hello everyone, welcome today. So I'm gonna do a review for Rose Technics Quiet C Dynamic Driver Earphone. This was sent to me by Rose Technics themselves. Uh, they're, very, they're a very nice brand. Honestly, uh, this should be my third earphone from them that I'm reviewing on this channel. They are new, to be fair. They have been uh, they've been talked about recently by so many reviewers, people like covering their Quiet C dynamic driver earphones. So they contacted me a few weeks back. They were like, they would like to send me a, a sample so that I showcase it on this channel for you guys. Uh, and it's out now. So to be honest, this is the box you get. It is a $60 earphone. I think it's $60 on their, on their store. I have to confirm that it's either it's it's either okay it's i think i think it's fifty dollars let me confirm on your store here um uh, just to be to be to be certain of this so i don't uh, make an error and tell you guys that this is the price whereas it's not really the price tag uh as as we speak at least as of right now but i know it's fifty dollars currently so the quiet c is fifty dollars is is fifty dollars on their store let me just see it. it's it's actually fifty dollars so let's uh begin basically the packaging on this is wonderful it, it is definitely wonderful it's it's one of those packaging that you you certainly want to to have i'm i'm actually trying to to confirm uh, literally actually there's a discount now i just checked now there's a current discount it's 44 dollars right now uh, but when it did come out it was 50 dollars but on their store now there's a discount uh there's a discount going on as we speak it's dropped down a lot so let's look at the packaging uh look uh, you know this model is uh it's a budget set but it's it it has an expensive packaging uh you can see right now the rose techniques brand they have their logo actually that is showing you how they built and designed the earphone um and then this is the packaging the earphones are out already they are connected to the cable that it came with already so there is nothing to check on this front again so this is how it looks like it's a very affordable set on your store is $44, but I just wanted to confirm because I know people will, will ask, look, is it still expensive? But it's, it's cheap now. So let's see the earphone. Now, this is the earphone, in the, 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 the earphone we are talking about. Look at how it looks like. It is gorgeous. And the cable is as premium as it gets. This is how it looks like. This is the Rose Technics Quiet C. Uh, it is a very, very beautiful dynamic driver in your monitor. It, the dynamic driver we have in this model is a DLC driver. So it's, um, it's a very high quality uh, designed earphone. Uh, if, you, if you're on the page where, where you see the quiet city the company says that they spent a long time to make this set, even though it's affordable, they took their time to tune it uh the they they worked on the shell because this shell is very high quality honestly it, you could even fool someone if 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 you charge someone four hundred dollars for this if if someone pays for this for four hundred dollars they wouldn't really complain because the shell i'm seeing here is so good it really is so good uh and then the cable the cable on this is fantastic like i love this cable the cable is wonderful it is a wonderful, beautiful cable. It looks as premium as it gets for you. And it's MMCX. I know I've said it many times on this channel already that I'm not a fan of MMCX. I do not like MMCX. I don't care about MMCX. But there you have it. it it's MMCX. I just hope it lasts because I've had terrible, terrible experience with mmcx cables over time um, the last expensive earphone that was sent to me by a company called bgvp the mmcx is already bad and the earphone is dead and that earphone cost almost 800 dollars so i don't like mmcx earphones i just hope this one will have the quality control to last that long so let's go to the next important thing and that's the sound um, before i go to the sound 
the ear tips I'm using here is not from Rose Technics. The ear tips I'm using here is the easy ear tips from Wheezy. There's a company called Wheezy Audio. They make earphones as well. For me, personally, over the last few years, the Wheezy ear, Easy Ear Tips have been the best ear tips I've ever tested, period, for any earphone. So what I do now is that I buy only their ear tips and I use it for review on every earphone sent to me. I don't use any other type of ear tips for any other earphone. So this ear tip is not from Rose Technics. Rose Technics have their own ear tips that they have in the box. There are lots in the box as well. I just, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in their ear tips. So let's talk about sound quality. This earphone is, is a very neutral set, but it's neutral that has a tilt towards bass. I love the set. That's why I fell in love with it. The first day I listened to it, I, I smiled. I really was smiling. This is, um, like this earphone reminds me of the Olina, uh, the triple win Olina that was very successful the, for the last few years. And I'm going to compare it to the Olina because I know some people will ask the question, how does it compare to other dynamic driver earphones? I will say this. If you want a neutral earphone that has great, great uh, detailed bass that is not over domineering or very uh, like in your face, this is the, the earphone you get. The quiet C is incredible. It's built like a tank. Um, it's built really well. Although you will still need a decent amount of uh, amplification to get it to sound its best because it's a bit hungry. It's a bit power hungry. So if you want the best out of it, you will need to feed it with good juice, with good power. I use a topping amplifier with it. I use, also use uh, a Fio, a Fio uh, DAC with it, you know, the, the Bluetooth DAC, uh, the, the, the BTR, I use the BTR 3K and then I connect the topping uh, amplifier to, to the BTR 3K and then hook it up to my device through USB and it literally is a, it's, it's a DAC, an external DAC. And then I then connect this up to to it, and uh, this thing sounds incredible with the topping amplifier and uh, the BTR, the the Fio BTR 3K. It sounds incredible because uh, the power it gets is just amazing. The other thing again, you will you will benefit with this model is a mid frequency that is very resolving. Most earphones, most dynamic driver earphones don't have resolving mids. Most of them either suppress the mids to give you a large quantity of treble or large quantity of bass, but this one doesn't do that. So that's why I said that it's not a V-shaped set. It's a neutral set that is tilted towards bass. You know, it, it's fun. You want to listen to it because it's fun. It's a fun set. Um, it's a fun set in a very good way. It's not like bloaty bass and all those trash you get from these affordable $50 earphones and below and all that. It's a very fun, detailed set. And also, this earphone sounds like it's in the $100 to $150 category. The way it sounds, it doesn't sound like a cheap set. The driver inside, you can tell it's a very well-made driver. Uh, let me even look at the driver technology that we have here. The company claims that uh, that the that the driver here, I think it's DLC, but uh, I want to confirm if it's really DLC because, because it's time limited in size. Uh, the other thing again is that the you know the sensitivity on this thing is quite uh, low. You know, it has a 99 decibel sensitivity that's why i said it needs a bit of amplification to get it they get the best out of it so if you're someone that likes to listen to your music loud you need to power this correctly it's not like planar hunger it's not like a planar earphone that needs lots of power that's not what the quiet c is all about the quiet c just wants a decent amount of power so that it will give you a lot of resolution, a lot of bass. This is what it needs. 
So if you give it that, it will sound perfect for you. Um, look, I've, li I've listened to this set for, for a week now, literally a week. I took my time to listen to this earphone. I, I, I took my time. I had my reason. You know, I got it last week, you know, early last week. And I was like, you know what? Let me take my time and listen to this. Because the first day I put it in my ears, I was incredibly blown away. Uh, I liked the packaging. I liked the sound immediately. I fell in love with it. So I said to myself, you know what? Let me take my time. Play dozens to a hundred, over a hundred tracks on it, as well as watch movies to get the experience of this model. And uh, I will say this right now, the earphone is perfect for gamers. If you game or watch movies a lot, the Quiet C, the Rose Techniques Quiet C is perfect for you. What it does when you watch your movies is that it has this expansive uh, resolution it delivers for your enjoyment. Very few dynamic drivers do what this thing do when you listen to a movie with it you know when you're watching a movie you're listening to the track to the movie track this thing is just incredible so let me put it this way if you watch movies a lot if you listen to a lot of m music that has detail this is the earphone you get now the other important thing again is the treble because people have problem with treble that are spiky they will ask the question if it's neutral am i going to get fatigued listening to this set you won't get fatigued because of the tuning the tuning like i said initially is neutral but tilted towards bass there are some earphones that are neutral that are tilted towards the treble region that makes it very bright, very resolving, but there is no much bass to compensate for that detail you are getting. So over the long run, you get tired of the music. This is not doing that for you. This is neutral. You will hear everything, but you will still get enough bass to make it fun enough for you to continue listening to it. Uh, so you need movies to test earphones. I keep telling people this. If you want to know how good an earphone is performing, watch a movie or two or three, an action flick, to get the basic performance of that set. If you don't do that and you just listen to music and you come and start wasting people's time by reviewing the product, you are kidding yourself. You are not telling people the exact true performance of the set. So you need to watch movies with this, this type of earphones to get the best uh, analysis of what that earphone has the ability to do. Um, I would say this is a very good set. I have no issues with it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a rating of 8 out of 10. I really go as high as 8. But it's a very good set. I like it. Um, a lot could have been improved upon, but it's it's a very wonderful set. And I'm now in love with Rose Techniques as a brand. I think Rose Techniques has improved. The first two earphones they, they, that were sent to me didn't impress me. I ended up giving them away, but I, I said they were okay back then. You know, that was a couple of years ago. I think four, three, four years ago. It was a very long time ago. Uh, when they, the when uh, I got those earphones, I think Rose Technics was very new then. They didn't really have much products to like, maybe showcase their ability then. So I gave up on the idea that they might be a brand that will take off at at that time. But they've taken off right now. I think a lot of people are beginning to understand that they are a big brand now that they can compete with the big boys. So this is what's happening with the Quiet C. Uh, the Quiet Sea is a wonderful set. I, lo I love it. I really love it. And I'm going to keep it for a very long time. So that's the review, guys. Um, I'll drop a link to where you can buy it. If you're interested, you can support the company, Rose Technics. They've been very wonderful. Uh, at, at least I like the representative I'm talking to uh, right now about their different products. They are very um, accommodating and they, they are respectful. They... They want to work with so many creators, so I appreciate that. Uh, so do buy more of the Acquired C. I know it's an older earphone that came out last year. It's not like the recent and greatest. I know more earphones will still come out this year and all that. But for the time being, I love this set. 
highly recommended. I'm keeping it in my collection of favorite earphones. I really do love it. So that's it. Do subscribe to the channel. Do like our content. I'll see you guys very much next time.